They played on all visible. They why are we on all visible? What is this? What kind of noob hosts it on all visible? That's not sneaky anymore. Are they gonna play it out? Okay, I guess they're gonna play on all visible. I said explored, but yeah, Trirem. Listen, Trirem is the host. He needed the help. All right. We have an all visible game, and sudden death on hamburger. And the center does not really look like a burger. It looks more like a volleyball or a basketball or something. But the the premise is, if you lose your king or not your king, sorry, your TC, you're dead, and you cannot rebuild TCs. Let's introduce the players. Malay for Trirem in the red, the noob host. Uh, the teal, we have Rapard. He's playing as the Turks. Rapard is a 2k rated player on Vubli, and he's very, very good. So they'll need to look out for him. Uh, Azur Sentry is playing as the Mongols in the blue. In the yellow, we have Ojama. He's playing as the Franks. In the purple, we have Monkey Chow. He's playing as the Italians. In the green, we have Mongols for Revenge AoE. In the gray, we have Byzantines for Duck Duck Ghost. And then in the orange, uh, we have Tyrannosaurus Rox, <laughs> who I guess was AFK, and says back, wow, that was very broken for a while. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he was AFK as well. There's so little space for him, man. People can range his TC from either side with Drebs. It's kind of good that he has all this space, but unfortunate start for, for Tyrannosaurus Rocks. Now let's bring up the overlay and look at the populations to see how good people are doing. This was a, originally a 1v1 map way, way back. And in a 1v1, you have one single wood line, which separates the players. And oftentimes you see a lot of towers there. Um, but that, that wood line is seen as the meat in the burger. But when you do it in an eight-player game, it doesn't look like a burger anymore. So, yeah. That, that's, that's why it's called hamburger, just to explain. Um, I'm actually... You know what? I shouldn't feel bad for saying this, because you guys always tell me what you're eating when you're watching my stream or my YouTube channel. So, I'm actually going to have some burgers tonight. So, I, that's why I wanted to do this. <laughs> like, I'm getting excited, man. I haven't had burgers in a long time. So what do you think of the civs, guys? I think Italians can be great because it's cheaper for them to advance to each age. So they could, in theory, get to imp faster. Uh, I think Malay are good because they advance faster to each age. I like any civ which gets Bombard Cannons and Onager for this. So basically, I'm not a gigantic fan of Turks because they lack Onager. They could go fast imp Bombard Cannons, though. Uh, Byzantines are cool because of their cheaper cost for the Imperial Age. Persians are good because Persians get extra HP on their town center so they can survive longer. They too get Bombard Cannons and Onager. I like all the civs, and the Mongols is just an incredible late game civ. I don't think it's their strong suit to play in Sudden Death. Because normally with Mongols you need to have three or four town centers and a lot of eco to get to your strong options. And it might be more tough on one TC, but we shall see. And since it's all visible, that changes things. You can't really surprise people that much. I don't know how that would affect me. I feel like I'd be more bold on All Visible. Because you don't have to worry about someone attacking you. You'd see it if it was coming. So I think that would make me more bold. Hopefully that makes others more bold here as well. So as always, um, since I spend most of my day casting and like, briefly looking at chat... In the early stages of these games, if you are new to the stream or have questions, whatever, I, I will pay attention to chat. Just as long as, you know, it's somewhat applicable. Or at least it's not something like, hey, T90, uh, if you were a guitar, what brand would you be? You know, things like that. But This is Diplo, right? I think it is Diplomacy. Oh, it's not Diplo. No, it's a regular free-for-all. Yeah, so again, I think that makes me more bold here if I'm aware of what's coming my way. No, it will not be a salmon burger. <laughs> I just got a text. What time are you getting here? I don't know because this game could go on for hours.
Hey, Vinestone. Hey, T90. What brand would you be of guitar? Oh, I didn't see that one coming, M Papa. <laughs> T90, did you see the idea about having some kind of Olympic games with pros playing? Fun events like Olympic games, multiple events for points for top results. Okay, I didn't see the rest of that. Um, so I honestly, that it's very general. Uh, you need, I'd need to know what type of events you're looking for. It would be kind of funny. Do you guys know that marble YouTube channel? I think it's called like gel is marble run. I'd recommend checking it out. And they have, he has small events with marbles and I think it'd be kind of fun to do something. Um, like maybe come up with some different scenarios, like a trade cart race, just, just something dumb like that for AOE Olympics and maybe I could have either I could have bots run it actually able to sub again. oh that's an idea we could have bots run it guys that would be sick is it possible we have so many great map creators we could make a bunch of different mini scenarios we could have AOE to Olympics and we could just have different bots that's so good and I would commentate that crap and then you guys could we could all pick our favorite guy Okay, so I don't think that was exactly what that individual meant when they were asking. I think they wanted pro players to play it. I could tell you the pro players would not want to play mini scenario games very long. But we could have bots do it. I'd be so into that. Dave and I could root for our... We, we could be biased casters and root for our own little bot. Commentate that crap. Crap is positive in this sense, alright? Hmm. Can someone remind, make sure to remind me of that? I'm going to write a note to myself. One second. Because I'm going to forget. Got it. All right. That's a cool idea. That is a really cool idea. Anyway, if you had any other like comments or whatever, I'm reading chat. <laughs> Does that sound interesting to you guys? I think that'd be fun. It wouldn't be something we do all that frequently. That would be especially good near the end of a 24-hour stream, when I'm exhausted. And I have the gigs. Hey, there is a T90 meme in your Discord DMs. Dude, I actually, I'm not kidding when I tell you, I have 17 different people who have sent me messages on, on Discord throughout the day today. So I will have to spend time going through those messages, <clears throat> or ignoring them, uh, after the stream. I won't ignore you, but I'll, I'll, it'll take me time. I get a lot of messages that I have to sort through. So if I ever don't respond, it's probably because I don't have time to. Do, 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 do. Oh, you just sent it now. Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll look at it. <laughs> nice one, Devo. I'll post it on Twitter later, man. Repard is on the way to Castle Age. Is he going fast imp? Can he go fast imp with this? No. No, he can't. Um, has some fish. Won't have the food to go up. Remember, Rapard is probably going to be the strongest player here. Second best might be Revenge. Uh, Triram, it's hard to say. Do, 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 do. I have BG stuck in my head. Smacker, yeah, it's weird. You, you can make bridges in the scenario editor in AWE too, but you can't do it in game. Can you imagine with all the quick gates and quick walls we have nowadays? Like, oh, he's quick bridged it. He's quick bridged it. I could envision that. That'd be crazy. Your army's on one side of the river and it's about to die. So you have to send a villager to the shoreline to build a bridge real quick so your army can escape and then you delete the bridge. <laughs> You delete the bridge while enemy units are chasing after you? Oh my god. That would be too ridiculous, man. <laughs> that would be... That's the only... I, be, I feel like Fatslob would play that version. Fatslob would just make a bunch of bridges and walls and wait for you to, to stand on the bridge to attack his walls and then you delete the bridge. Sounds like Fatslob to me. Oh, this demo! Where's it going? Remember, everything's visible here. There's no surprises. Okay. It's just attack the fishing ship. 
War Galley for Riparty, he's just protecting the water a bit. It's important. And interesting to me that Monkey Chow is out here farming. You see, you can't build TCs out here, but there are resources. Oh, he's being attacked by the scouts. And revenge will not kill the villager. But he's being annoying. Alright, Nostalgic, thanks for stopping by today, man. Schmel, then I'm not the best singer. <laughs> not not a Bee Gees, anyway. I can't keep up with that. So, guys, this looks to me like Rapart is trying to go up to Imp quickly. Uh, again, you can only build one TC. He's making a lot of farms now. He just needs a thousand food and 800 gold. Just. That's got to be the end goal. And then uh, Bombard Cannons. You get chemistry immediately with Turk starting an Imp. What is my favorite band? That is a question I can't answer, but if I were to pick three that I could... Three that I could listen to forever. You know that classic question like, Oh, you're stranded on an island, but you can have three albums. So in this case, I'll do three groups. Uh, Blink-182, A Day to Remember... And the third one is tough, because I like so many different groups. But Blink... And a day to remember, I like almost every single album. Um, and no, not Baby Shark, man. Please. Interesting walls from Orange here. Um, I I don't know about the third one. It's hard. It's hard to say what the third one would be. Maybe like Foo Fighters, honestly. I know that sounds silly, but uh, I, I like Foo Fighters a lot. Nah, then again, I'd probably get tired of Foo Fighters. They have some classics, but I don't know if I could listen to all their albums. Hmm. This is tough. Um, definitely none of the groups that you guys are mentioning. <laughs> if I had three groups to listen to forever? I, I thought about Red Hot Chili Peppers, yeah. It's a tough one for me. I, I like a lot of different genres and a lot of different groups. Uh, but I guess you got an idea. Skillet? Uh, I like Skillet. And that Comatose album, man, is timeless for me, but... I kind of need a female artist, right? I could say Paramore. Baby shark for hmm. the win. I'll have to think on that, alright? Dream Theater. Dream Theater's good. Again, don't think I could listen to them forever. It depends what I'm doing on said island, right? <laughs> it depends what I'm doing. If I want workout music, I'd probably say like Avenged Sevenfold. Or maybe I could do... Maybe I'd go hip-hop. Just a lot of... I don't know. I just like too much music. So, Rapart is on his way to the Imperial Age. He's 73% of the way there. And I could pretty much tell you he'll be thinking Bombard Cannons, Hand Cannons, just full gunpowder. And Trirem will soon follow him to the Imperial Age. The Trirem will not have an immediate answer to Bombard Cannons. T90 is a Justin Bieber fan confirmed. I am a Justin Bieber fan. I'm not like a fanboy. I'm not going to his concerts like, Oh, Justin, sign my, sign my, sign my shirt. But, you know, I'm not saying that's what Bieber fans sound like, okay? It's just the voice that I would make if I was that guy. Uh, but yeah, he has some good music, man. I think he gets a bad rep. I think he gets a bad rep because of his... I don't like his early stuff when he was like 15, but his stuff now is good. Depending on the time. Like, I... I, I actually... when I, I know a lot of people say that uh, they like most genres of music, but then when you get to talking to them, they... They don't. Most genres of music, I, there's a time and a place for me. Even Nickelback, guys. I know it's a meme, but look at this photograph, all right? Even, even Nickelback. K-pop? A little bit, depending. I mean, it's like a small percentage of the time, but there are some situations where I can get into it. Big fan of Britney Spears? Oh, yeah. I'm a huge fan of Britney Spears. I won't deny it. There's no shame here. So, Trirem's making Karambit Warriors. It's going to be tough for the Karambit Warriors to work with no upgrades, but you could you could get enough Karambit Warriors to deal with hand cannons, actually. 
But yeah, Rapard is going to focus him down. Uh, what's Blue doing on the other side? Still in Castle Age. Ooh, Yellow's walling the TC. Okay, he's still in Castle Age. Monkey Chow is going to be an imp next. Oh, we just missed a demo there. Trap music? Um, occasionally, yeah. I mean, if I were to pick... I, I, I apologize this has turned into a podcast, but... I promise. TTs are going to get sniped. Um, if I were to, to say my top three genres, it, it'd probably be... Uh, like, hip-hop, uh, punk, and, and metal. But... Like, I'm a big fan of country sometimes. Uh, I'm a big fan of, like, classical sometimes. It it depends, man. Trirem's gonna die. <laughs> happy birthday. Can everyone say happy birthday to Trirem? It was his birthday two days ago. He gets in a game, and he doesn't stand a chance because he's next to the best player. Brutal. Brutal. And he's now out of wood to repair his TC. And wait for it, wait for it. This is like blowing out the candles on a birthday cake, except it's your TC. Happy birthday! Woo! Oh, that sucks, man. Well, Rapart is gonna be ruthless. I knew when he got chosen that he was gonna be like this. So I'll probably go right over to blue next. So blue probably is gonna struggle as well. Classical equals classical rock or classical music? Uh, I, when I said classical, I was referring to classical music. However, I do like some classic rock. If you admire my brutal honesty, that's, that's pretty much uh, what I'm about, man. Well, not all the time. I'm a little bit too political sometimes, but... Like, politically correct, that is. <laughs> oh, Jama says, Can we do a poll on whether Rapard is going to win? Or are we talking... North Pole or South Pole? Which pole are we talking about? Oh, we're talking about a poll, like a vote. So one of the players realizes that I run polls on the stream, and this is a good time for it. So let's do a poll on if her part is going to win, yes or no. Yodeling music? Uh, I like the Yodel Kid YouTube it. Favorite composer? I mean, again, it's not like... When I say I like it, there's a, there's a time and a place for it. It's, it's not something like I don't have a list of favorite composers. Classic. No. Go for the rock. Evet. Evet. Majority of music I listen to is like if I'm at the gym, I like uh, I like a lot of '90s hip hop. Um, so like I like hip hop uh, or like metal or or like harder rock. And then if I'm like out in the in the the country, like out in the wilderness, I will listen to country, and I like a lot of classic country. Uh, There's a time and a place for things for me. Um, Azure Sentry is the next to die. Rapard versus the world. Will Rapard win? Vote with a one or a two in the chat. This is called sudden death for a reason, guys. Hmm. Yellow and gray will be in the Imperial Age, and green will be in the Imperial Age soon. Uh, Monkey Chow is already there. Making archers. Hmm. Think Bombard Cannons is the way to go. And on Hamburger, you could go Onager to cut through the trees, get to enemy as well. T90, Family Guy or American Dad? Um, you guys might hate me, but I never really got into either. But I would probably say Family Guy, because I, I watched more Family Guy, so... Hard hard for me to compare, though. Eh, never really got into it. Do I like Pink Floyd? I do, yes. I do. Again, do I love Pink Floyd? Do I have, like, Pink Floyd t-shirts and posters? And do I go to the forums and talk about how much I like certain songs and which is my favorite? No. But do I enjoy some Pink Floyd songs? I do. So, yeah, this is actually smart thinking from Yellow to build this many layers of fortified walls. Because he sees this is coming. So he's trying to buy himself some time. Yeah, I like Hollywood Undead a lot. <laughs> Shut up, Algernon. <laughs> oh my god. TK, thank you. 
1890. I've been gifted subs before and thought I'd man up and sub myself. Don't tell my wife. Also, Alexa, play Baby Shark. Alexa, play Baby Shark. That worked, apparently. I don't know if people were tricking me before, but apparently I got people's Alexa to play Baby Shark in the past. I did Siri as well. I really didn't want that troll to get out of hand, because you guys would get annoyed, but thank you very much, TK. Hey man, that's awesome to see you continuing from the gifted subs. So this would be the time, right? This would be the time to cut through the trees and go for Rapard's base. Yellow... He has the right idea to wall in his TC if petards are coming to town, or, I don't know, paladins, whatever, but walling in the TC does not help from Trebs, and so far, Rapart has been unrivaled, man. Absolutely unrivaled, but you know how it goes. Everyone can see how good he is, so everyone will think about killing him. I would love to see a transport. <laughs> Monkey says, hello everyone but Rapard, what do we do? Well, you have to go for it. You have to try and kill him. Yellow is trying to survive right now. He's buying you all time. He's giving you all time. He's doing this for you, guys. Now, it's not diplomacy, so they can't technically ally, but they can just agree to not attack each other. See, this is a big problem with not going for Bombard Cannons. Which is why I think Onager Bombard Cannon is, is the best way. Here you could just go transport Bombard Cannon, though. Just transport everything around. It's risky. Oh, and I guess the water doesn't go doesn't extend here. Monkey's coming to help with Kondo Tieros. Kondo Tieros are anti-gunpowder, but it won't save yellow. So it might be best to save those, Monkey Chow. Hmm. Man, Rapard. See, this is just unfortunate. Man, I'm beginning to feel bad now. Rapard says help. Is he talking about Jim Halpert? What's going on here? That TC is going to die. It sucks for Orange because the map generation is so easy for them to range him with traps on the other side of the wood lines. Really unfortunate, man. Okay. What? Duck Duck Ghost killed Green? That's one less person you have to help. Oh god, so there's three left. And I think I think Monkey Chow could be next. This is a quick one. This is very sudden. <laughs> uh well Kondo Tieros are fantastic against these hand cannons though, so. That's not bad. The fact that Rapard can't transport around, the fact that Rapard can't really get through to the TC easily isn't bad. I think Monkey Chow could at least delay Rapard and maybe give Duck Duck Ghost an opportunity to surprise him. Yeah, Hamburger's kind of a weird map for this. That might have been it. Yeah, maybe he saw the writing on the wall and... Wanted to get a kill. <laughs> I feel like that happens so frequently. Where players are like, ah, I don't know what to do, let's just kill this guy. <laughs> but I think Green was about to go for him. It doesn't look like these were friendly trebs. Yeah, Rapard's, Rapard's hand cannons will do almost nothing to these Kondo Tieros. Kondo Tieros are going to clean this up. And maybe Monkey Chow is going to take the lead. Beautiful decision. You know, if you expect someone's gonna go gunpowder, maybe the next level move is to pick Italians. I don't know if he thought that through when he picked this, but it worked. Nice. T90, since this is going... This is going really fast, can we play another game? Ah, uh, it depends, man. I don't know how long this game's gonna go. Dude, you gotta be careful. How many times have we seen games where two people were left and it still went for another hour? <laughs> uh... There's really no way of predicting how this is going to go. It's going to take a lot from Rapard to ever kill Purple, and it's going to take a lot from Purple to ever kill Rapard. And then... Gray... He has a Vill. I got excited. Maybe he could transport, but... That could always be spotted. We'll see. Fine. 
Rad Metal Monk, thank you for the 13. I didn't realize I missed these names here. Tilted Ducks, thank you for two. Welcome back. I'll keep it up, man. Thanks. Andy the Giant says Baby Shark for the win. There's a lot of Baby Shark today. I'm still a bit shocked. Shooketh. T90 has been shooketh. Freaking Lorena, man. What's weird, like, I have had some really big donators and subgifters to this stream. And uh, some of which contributed today, and I'm I'm really thankful for it. But Lorena kind of came out of nowhere today, so that was what was surprising. Maybe it was a Smurf for someone. Oh, Gray, let's go! Gray, let's go! Let's do this. Hop in the transport. Monkey Chow says, "So we team." He actually didn't get a response. He he reached out to the group. Oh, maybe he doesn't have chat on for any any of them. <laughs> I, does anyone know if this updates? If purple sets gray, selects gray here, uh, in game, does it show up for us as casters? Oh, I think he just did it actually, right? Unless this, did that change? Uh, yeah, it doesn't show what he has. I don't know, all I know is that gray's not responding. I figured it out, Sally. Come on. It was just a test. I mean, if you don't change it, it should go to everyone. Yeah. T90, would you consider Italians a hard counter for Turks since they get an anti-gunpowder unit and anti-archer unique unit? Uh, the thing is, Italians really struggle against any Civ that gets siege rams. So I wouldn't necessarily say that, but yeah. They have a lot of options against Turks. If we're talking 1v1s, Turks can win it in, in Castle Age with Knights. Like, just using mobility, I, I'd actually prefer Turks, honestly. Italians are a bit underwhelming right now in 1v1s. Because the thing is, Genoese crossbow takes so much to get to and they're still so weak and fire so slow in Castle Age. I think if there's a buff to Genoese crossbow, which I'd be okay with, then, then yeah, maybe. But yeah, you're right. I mean, the unique unit uh, that Italians have in the Condo Tierros counter Turks gunpowder, and then you also have the Genoese crossbow. So it's a good way of looking at it. Basically, so I I can't tell you how many games can be won just going Siege Ram and Hussar with Turks. Just raiding with Hussars and destroying buildings with Siege Ram can be really strong. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Check this out. Cannon Galleons for Repard. Remember, uh, everything is visible. Where did the transport go for Duck Duck Ghost? I'm looking at Idle Military. Maybe he didn't use it yet. I saw him killing this castle. Don't tell me he's going for purple. <gasps> purple can be hit by this. Rapard is not going for gray. He's going for purple. And he's looped the whole way around. Oh boy. Now, will he lose a cannon galleon to this one fire galley from Duck Duck Ghost? Oh, purple doesn't notice this. The castle will range about here, so Rapard has to be careful. <laughs> Man, this freaking fire galley, though, it's gonna kill a cannon galley, and that's hilarious. Got it. Can I get the next one? No way. No way! He got both of them! Gray didn't know anything about it either. He killed both of them. Two elite cannon galleons down. Unintentional hero. Maybe he did know. Well, let's give him credit. Maybe he did know. It just was a very lackluster defense. There's one cannon galleon coming. This is going to take a lot of time. If Purple doesn't realize this now, he should have time to address it. He also has his fire ship. I would like to see him onager cut. Repard has... Oh my god. This is crazy. Look how he's fortified this. Bombard towers. He does not want to lose. Which makes it so much more exciting if he does lose. Okay, okay, okay. 
Yeah, he up he's upgrading his navy now. He probably knew. It just didn't really look like he knew. Purple knows as well. Purple's just housed right now. Yeah, but he has his treb there. Uh, the treb will have less range than the elite cannon galleon, though. <laughs> elite cannon galleons fire so slowly. It's so dumb. Must kill TC. Don't tell me this one elite cannon galleon is going to do it. Surely no. Ooh. That, there's more looping around right now. Oh, this is so painful. I almost can't look. Just snipe it. Kill it. Kill it. Rapard would have killed him already if there wasn't this one land piece here. Kill it! He's gonna kill it. He's fine. Never a doubt. Nice. Nice work. <laughs> this is so dumb, man. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> oh my god. Gray, please get on it, man. He could do it, man. He's Byzantines, has more HP on his buildings. He could do it. Remember that time where they're like, hey, T90, is there gonna be another game? I think this is gonna be a long one, man. Azure Sentry, thank you for gifting this five subs. I'm getting pretty exhausted now. I've been live for almost eight hours, and I forget if I thanked you. I think I did, but I'm going to thank you again. What is that farm? Don't build that farm. Don't place that farm there. What is that farm? Okay. Oh, wow, Cavalier versus Condo Tiros. See, this is where Turks can shine. And Cavalier will destroy the Condo Tiros. Nice move from Rapard. Rapard has 97 villagers, so his eco is, is strong. Has a relic as well. And Rapard might be pushing back on land against Purple. Hmm. That's what you call a Dutch farm. <laughs> so, I feel as though it's going to be really tough for them to kill Rapard. But they have to they have to try it. They, they can't just defend. Too often I see players fully focus on defense and it just won't work versus a stronger player. Got to go for something. Uh, like maybe one player can take land, one player can take water. I guess I'd probably prefer. I don't freaking know. I don't like I don't like Italians on land versus Turks, as I already said. So, um, maybe Byzantines land, Italians water. Italians are better on water, and then Purple could dock this side, go this way. If you win water, then you control the sea to transport, and if you can transport, just plop off some trebs here, and say goodbye to Teal's TC. We need to make a dodgeball. <laughs> Can you imagine how brutal it would be to have that do that bombard cannon dodgeball game, but with cannon galleons? Oh my god, regularly cannon galleons? That would be brutal, man. Purple could die. Purple could die. I guess you could do Spanish cannon galleons. Spanish would be the one to pick then. Or Berbers for the faster ships. I don't even know if Berbers get elite cannon galleon. But it doesn't matter, you could you could make it. There we go, Grace going for some fast fires. Get some navy control, my friend. There we go. And I would probably go... The one thing that Monkey Chow's not going with is archers. Like, Turks don't have elite skirm, so I would be going with at least elite skirm mixed in with this. But archer would be fine, like Arbalest? Arbalest would be fantastic. Arbalest with a few Genoese crossbow mixed in would be peachy. Remember, there's a lot of gold on this map still because the players who are dead left that. <laughs> oh man, Rapard. More like Retryhard. Oh my god. Bombard Towers. Bombard Towers is one of the most overpowered things in the game. 
Like, if you have if you have stone and gold, you make them endlessly. And on a map like this, when there's so many dead players, you can make them endlessly. I really feel like they should take pop space. Like, half pop space for every bombard tower. From a balanced perspective. But, really only ever see them in big team games, like Nomad team games or Black Forest team games. And I guess if you play that, you know what you're signing up for, so... I think the last time I played Black Forest, the enemy had Turks in Spanish, and we were we were the far better players, our team, but we couldn't push because they just built hundreds of towers. It was the worst. <laughs> it was the absolute worst. No military, just towers. They're strong though, man. Well, he's getting getting closer to the end for Purple Man. He's he's lost his castle, which protected him. The TC's right there. Can Gray do some? Oh! Go, baby! Gray, don't attack a house. You don't need to set the house on fire. That's not important. <gasps> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Rapard's building towers, but he doesn't have towers here to the shoreline. He could do it. He has two bombard cannons, and he has three treps. Fire immediately. Oh, God. Come on, man. You can do it. Click. The TC. Gray, fire with the bombard cannon, man. What else is there to focus on right now? He's got him. Food, please. No. <gasps> oh, Rapard says no. He says food, please. As long as the trebs don't hit villagers, it's GG. Boom. Let's go. Duck, duck, ghost. Got him. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? The Trebs are still firing for Rapard! The game is over! The game is over! Duck Duck Ghost wins! His only enemy that was remaining was killed by a dead man. I've only seen that one other time. And that was two years ago. And the title of the YouTube video was 97.1% uh, of people won't believe the ending of this game. Oh my god. I think this is 97.2%, obviously. Holy crap, man. That was so good. I, I loved how Duck Duck Ghost took a risk there. And the only way he was going to win it is if he tried. If he left himself a little bit exposed. The beauty of that is that Rapard's amazing player. The only reason Rapard didn't notice this was because he was focused on this fight. So the timing had to be perfect. If you would have tried that and Rapard wasn't currently going after purple, it would not have been possible. <clears throat> if not for the podcast start, this would have been a great YouTube video. Yeah, we'll see, man. What an ending, though. Uh, congratulations, Duck Duck Ghost, on the win. To be completely honest, uh, he was very safe. He had four castles. Five castles, sorry, I can't count. Uh, was Byzantines. He killed off green nice and early so he wouldn't have to deal with the threat of Mongols. At the time, we questioned that, right? Uh, now it makes a lot more sense. And then, of course, Orange was killed off by Teal. So I think he did a good job making sure any threat was, was pushed away. I think that's his first community game win as well. We'll see. 381 kills for Rapard. I think we knew that he was going to end up with the most kills. He just couldn't finish it off. If he had those Bombard Towers on the shoreline, he would have been fine. Just, just There was that one little peninsula that left him open and exposed. 19,000 gold, tons of stone, tons of wood, tons of food. He led, led every category. He sniped more TCs as well. I always like it when we have a stronger player in these games. It makes it more interesting. Duck, duck, ghost, congrats, man. Well played. Uh, so I don't know what my plans are. With the YouTube upload, because we had the podcast start where I answered a bunch of questions. Uh, I feel like I did a decent job explaining the game, though. At least for the first 5-10 to 10 minutes, and then there wasn't much to talk about. So, I'll have to review it. I have a panel with a few thousand people that have to review every game before it goes up to YouTube. If it does go to YouTube, if it passed the test, then you'd like to stop by the Twitch stream in the future. Uh, the Twitch link is below in the video description, and I stream all the... Well, not all the time, let's be honest. Four to five days a week, okay? And we do community games every Friday.